Are you ready to be Funny Wall Guy? If you've seen Grimm, you probably have heard of Funny Wall Guy, but you too could be Funny Wall Guy. All you have to do is learn a couple of walls. Now, obviously, it's unlikely we'll get ahead of the curve and be better Wall Guy than Grimm, but we can learn from his walls and use them for our own benefit. That's why I spent all day piecing through his videos and practicing all of the best Sage Wall Boost locations to save you time. Hey! I'm inserting a disclaimer here. Sage wall boosts are not what you should be using your wall for most of the time. It's generally better to just wall off locations and use the wall for its intended purpose. Grim walls are fun, and this game isn't always about what's best, sometimes it's about what's fun. These are fun, so just try to have fun with them. Sometimes they might even be more optimal than a normal sage wall, but for the most part, it's normally better just to wall things off. At the very least, they're nice to know, so when you have the time to use them, you can. The other half of this disclaimer is, you can basically Sage Wall Boost anywhere, so there's no possible way we could cover every single wall boost in this video. Just keep that in mind before you start commenting, you missed this wall. We know, these are just the most special ones I saw Grim do and how to do them. So on that note, the first thing you need to know when doing Grim Walls is how to do them. There are four different tactics when executing Grim Walls, the Jump Place, the Jump Crouch, the Strafe Place, and the Raise Satchel Boost. Let's quickly explain all four of these tactics. The first one, the jump place, is used to extend the wall a longer distance to give you more room to work with. This is done by walk jumping off of an edge, not run jumping, and after your body is about one link away, you place the wall. This will extend the wall further than if you normally placed it on the edge. This is a really important thing to remember for specific lineups, and something else I want to mention is that this is pretty difficult. You're going to want to try this in custom games, and I have a newfound respect for Grim because, like, these walls are hard to do, and you only get one per round, so make sure to practice these. The second tactic, the jump crouch, is to let you boost on top of boxes you wouldn't normally be able to. When doing this, try to position yourself a little further from the wall you're trying to boost on as it'll give the wall more length when you do boost. You can see examples of this on screen. The third tactic, the strafe place, is used to place a wall in places where it would otherwise break if you were on top of this. To do this, make sure to strafe after placing the wall to the side before the wall is fully raised. This one is really important. And the last tactic is the raise satchel boost. This one requires a teammate playing raise and will allow you to get to places you otherwise would not be able to. To do this, back up into a corner and have the raise crouch into you as you jump until she is below you. Then have her satchel you as you jump and crouch at the peak of your jump to get to locations you wouldn't otherwise be able to. We're going to try to limit the amount of raise satchel boost spots that we show just to make it easier on you guys, but there are some fun ones you can do, so we'll showcase a few. Let's move on to our first map, Haven though, starting on the A site. I'm going to try to give you guys at least one wall for each site that you can do. On the A site, there aren't actually many amazing walls, but you can actually solo boost onto the triple boxes by going through Heaven. Strafe jump out of the window onto the center box, and then when there, jump across towards the boxes and place your wall. It should lift you into the air. I think theoretically, you could boost onto the box next to Short too, but this one seems a little bit more difficult to pull off, so I would suggest doing this other one instead. Oh, also using the crouch jump tactic, we can jump on top of the center box as well. I could see this one being useful for post plant if heaven was smoked. And then for offense, there's actually a wall that you can use outside of A short as well to see through the short window. To place this one, you need to walk jump off the garden area on the side, and it should extend far enough for you to see. This also leaves room for your team to go through short below, so you're not blocking your team off of A either. Moving on to B, you can do this wall on the left box of sight. This one is a nice off angle of players pushing B. However, if you have a raise on your team to boost you up on these boxes, you can also do this wall. Here's another similar wall to the first one on B site for post plant. You can just place it in a different direction and it'll work wonders. Moving over towards C site, here are three walls that you can use. The first one is placed on top of the default box. This one requires a crouch jump, but it's pretty decent for post plant or for potentially defending the site. These next two require a raise to get to, but the first of them seems like an incredibly strong angle if you can utilize it. I'd be molding if I died to a sage here, and this is almost guaranteed to catch the enemies off guard. The last one here could potentially be good if they're pushing garage, but considering how hard it is to get to this one, and the angle it provides, I wouldn't consider this one the best. Oh, lastly, here's a really niche one that I just thought was funny. If you get a kill here, I highly encourage you to post it in our new Discord server that we just started. You can check that out in the description below. On a side note, if you're looking to get your VOD reviewed by us, we also have a channel available for that in the Discord, so that's even more reason for you to join. Moving on to Bind though, our first wall is going to be outside of Showers on A. When placing this wall, it's important that you stand away from the corner as to not have your wall poke through showers or break. Notice how obnoxious this angle can be though, could really catch some players off guard. This next wall isn't even really a grim wall, but it's just a good angle I thought worth mentioning. No fancy tricks to place this one, just run behind truck and throw that baby down. Our third does require a raised satchel boost to get to, it's just a weird off angle, and theoretically you could do one of these on pretty much any of these locations on the map. I actually really like this fourth wall though, and you can get to it without actually using a raised satchel boost, you just need a teammate to boost you up. You can do this by having your teammate crouch into you and then jumping and crouching at the peak of your jump. 
Notice how from this angle, you can see into showers or potentially catch players off guard as they're pushing onto site since you have such a weird location. Moving over towards the B site, starting out with one of the strongest grim walls you can place, this will elevate you to a position that is practically a one way. As with something that is so strong though, it's also sort of tough to do this as well. You need to stand on the lower portion and jump backwards while crouching when placing this wall, and it should elevate you to the position where you can look through these two pieces of cloth. These are actually not able to be shot through from their side, and I couldn't tell you why, but that's just how they work right now. Similar to Haven as well, you're also able to jump on top of the ticket booth outside of B Long by jump crouching off of this green box. If this weren't the case, you'd need a raise to boost you up here, but it's nice to know that you can make this jump. Oh, and by the way, before we move on to our third map, if you guys are looking for more in-depth guides, skillcap.com is by far the best place to go. There you will find weekly releases of smurf commentaries you can't find anywhere else for Sage or really any other agent, allowing you to uncover what it takes to get out of ELO Hell, no matter what rank you are. Our hyper improvement system is also by far the fastest way to improve at Valorant, and in fact we are so confident in that, we even offer a money back guarantee if you don't see the rank improvement you're looking for. It's literally no risk, so if you're interested in bringing your game to the next level, be sure to check out skillcap.com, link in the description below. Checking out our first wall on Ascent though, this one is going to be from Market. When done right, this should let you see players' heads on Catwalk. You'll probably catch them really off guard with this peak the first time that you do it, so feel free to use that. Moving over towards B site, this is a wall Grim does a lot. It allows you to see into Market during post plants. It also lets you peek towards B main from over the wall on site. If you want to place the wall the long way too, it'll give you a little bit better of an angle as well. You can also surf along the roof too, which is kind of cool. Moving into B main, we have a wall that most players have probably seen, but if you didn't know, you can actually use that jump place tactic that we talked about before and extend the wall so it can see into CT as well. This is a nice touch, and most players from CT don't expect to get peaked from here otherwise. Moving outside of B main for offense, this is a wall that was pretty common in beta, but I don't really see it anymore and I'm not sure why. Using this wall, you can get a headshot angle on anyone peeking catwalk. This is a really great way to catch players off guard, and you don't even need a raise to boost up to this angle either. Moving over to one of the cooler walls I've seen, and this one is kind of tough and takes good movement skills, but if you jump crouch to place this guy in the corner here, you can sometimes get a wall that is good enough to jump over to tiles from. This is obviously very aggressive, but it's fun, and at the very least this wall will let you get over the arches in mid and catch players off guard. Speaking of catching players off guard, here's a wall that you can do on offense to peak market from top cat. To place this one, do our jump crouch technique and it's game over. Now turning our attention towards A site, you can wall jump on top of the boxes on the left of main and this will give you an off angle on the entrance, surely catching enemies off guard. Here's another wall that's not much of a grim wall, but it's still a great angle to play. This one is just placed directly behind generator and then you peek over gen for a headshot angle. You can also make an aggressive jump onto generator using your wall and you can make this jump without the wall too but it's much easier with the wall so if any players are playing behind generator this will surely catch them off guard. Here's a decent off angle you can use in tree as well, nothing nuts here but might be nice to use to hold tree. Moving on to split, this first wall is pretty difficult to get, but I know when you get it perfect, you can actually see into heaven. To do this one, you need to crouch jump off of ramps, and the reason this one is so hard is because the surface you're boosting to is rather high, so you need to get the correct height for your jump. Luckily, this one is a pretty niche use as it's an offense wall, so although it's strong, you won't be missing out on much here if you can't get it. You're always welcome to jump boost off of this box on ramps though as a defender if you're looking for an easier wall. This can be pretty good to start off the round to catch players off guard. Hey, look over here. You see this trash can? This guy is your friend, and using it, we can make a one-way wall where we can see players' feet, but they can't see us. If your enemy is smart, they might shoot this down, but because it's so close to the ground, it sort of just looks like the sage placed a weird wall, so they might just try to run past it. Someone actually used a really similar wall to me in scrims once, and I was really annoyed. But hey, that's what we're here for, to learn some nerdy stuff. This wall is also nice because it blocks off screens as well, so it serves a double purpose. Lastly, on site you can do this wall, it's pretty basic but provides a good angle to see from. I've seen it before where Grim has gotten boosted on top of the pillar by Rays and then walled himself even higher and destroyed sections of the wall that would give it away too, but again, this requires a raise, so it's a bit gimmicky to pull off, and even me just saying that felt like a lot, so I probably wouldn't recommend this. Moving over towards mid though, this is definitely one of the harder walls to pull off, and it also requires a raise, so I highly, highly recommend practicing this one, but if if you get boosted on top of this fridge from your raise, you can sage wall above market by jumping off the fridge, crouch walling because your head will get hit by the ceiling otherwise, and then quickly backing up to get out of the way of the ceiling. This takes some practice to get, but once you have it, it'll look something like this. On B site, we have a wall that you can see into heaven. Obviously, you shouldn't use this if your team doesn't have B main control, but if you do, this can be a really crazy angle to use. You can also use this next wall by jumping off of the rafters and placing your wall. I generally crouch when I use this one, but it's actually pretty good if they're prone to using that sage wall strat to exit B main. Other than that, for split, here's a stupid wall that you can do in B main that has a cool sight line. It's not very usable, but I like how it looks. 
All right, moving over to Icebox, there are a bunch of walls on this map that can be done. I'm just going to show you the best ones. This one is pretty nuts. You've probably seen it before. If you've watched any Grim video, it lets you peek over that center structure on B, getting a ridiculous angle. To place this one, you need to aim at this thing on site and jump crouch. Make sure you're standing at an angle so your head doesn't hit the door frame. From here, if you did it right, you should be able to see over towards long. I also think there's a pixel that Grim uses to skirt along the edge of this structure. You can't stand on it, but it seems like it supports you maybe to get a better angle. I'm not entirely sure how it works. The point is, it's a cool angle. If you go more towards long though, you can get on top of that hanging structure really quickly by using a jump crouch wall. And I never expect a sage to be up here, so this one is pretty usable. Moving back a little bit, you can place a wall in snowman to get an angle over the bars on danger. If you place it here on the barrels, you can get it a bit higher, whereas if you place it on the ground, it's still alright right and I just died. Speaking of cool angles, if you use that strafe trick that we talked about earlier, then you can utilize this wall on A site. It gives a nice off angle on belt, and other than that, if you're feeling sneaky, you can try to hide here. Keep in mind versus smart players, they probably see this wall and expect you to be up there, but you never know. Moving on, if you're clean with your movement, this is a fun wall that you can pull off at the start of rounds. It's a little difficult to pull off quickly, and since this is contested territory at the start of the round, it's important that you do it quickly, but it can be fun if you can pull it off. Over by screens, this is also a fun wall you can do. Normally when Grim does this, he has his teammates help him break the chains of the wall that stick out. But could you imagine if someone came in from mid when you were up on this wall? Boy, would that be a sight. And then lastly, moving over to our last map, Breeze, starting out with this wall that can see over the right pyramid into cave. This one is a great off angle, and Breeze is definitely an off angle type map, so if you're ever tired of using that wall for useful things, come over here and throw down this wall. Other than that, on A, this is a pretty useful wall over doors. This will be sure to catch enemies off guard as they're pushing in. If you notice a lot of mid-aggression, this wall is a great option to grab some kills. And you know what? Here's a third wall for A to give yourself some different angles. All of these walls are pretty decent, so feel free to use them as you please. Moving over towards B main from the attacker's perspective, this is a decent wall for post plant. It can see over smokes that they might place in B main, and it will give you an advantageous position over anyone exiting from spawn. Just be careful of players coming in from window behind you or elbow, but other than that, it's not a bad wall. Yet another post plant wall that you can do is this one on B site. You could use this wall to get on top of the pillar, but I prefer to hide behind it and use it as cover. The off angle is already super strong, and you can pretty much see everything from here. If you're playing defense on B though, check out this cool wall that you can do on the other pillar. This one will give you a similar angle to the previous one, but it will also function as a one way for players who might try to swing you from here. Lots of purposes for this wall, so I definitely recommend using it. Speaking of good angles though, if you switch your attention towards the other side of B, you can use this wall to see over the other wall on site and get a good off angle as well. Well, let's take a look at the middle of the map though. What if you want to expose yourself to every single angle possible on the map? Well, have I got a wall for you. Check out this bad boy, boosting you up to the skies, letting you experience all of the coolest angles in the game. Obviously, like I said, a big problem with this wall is it exposes you to everything, but it's cool to know it exists. And on that note, that's pretty much it. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of this guide, there are tons of other sage walls that you can do. You can basically create off angles anywhere, but these are all the coolest ones we've seen. So if you learned a new angle or any new tricks for sage today, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel down below. Also, don't forget if you haven't already and want to experience what it's like to have the fastest way to climb in Valorant possible, then be sure to check out skillcap.com. Link in the description below. As always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel down below. And that's going to do it for us today. I'm King, and we here at Skillcap want to thank you all for watching. We will catch you in the next one.